Hello there. Welcome back to The Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan. Uh, obviously, I have a different setting for today. I'm doing a travel shave. I've been in Chicago the last few days. Um, my soap I'm going to use is a little sample container of Convergence. I got this from, um, I don't know, somebody gave this to me. I don't think I ordered it myself. I think I bought something from somebody and they tossed it in there, but I'm actually really glad they did because I love the smell. Um, it's by Declaration Grooming, like I said, in their milk steak uh, base. And it's got rosewood, patchouli, suede leather, uh, cognac. It's really, really nice. Uh, oak moss, I think I said. Um, fantastic all around. Just just a really great scent. And I'm probably going to get a full set of this because I really, really dig this scent. Uh, but I'm going to use this for the travel shave. I did think about using a shave stick. I do have a Latoya shave stick that I threw in my dop kit. And I might use that later. Um, I obviously haven't shaved in many days. Um, We've been in Chicago for four days, five, six, I don't know, like a week, maybe longer than a week. So it's been, it's been a heck of a shave. We're going to use the winning. Uh, this is the new handle on the original winning head, the, the 1.0. Um, so for the soap, I'm going to kind of use it like a shave stick, except I don't have, you know, a stick for it. So I'm just going to, it's pretty soft. It's kind of like Play-Doh-ish kind of texture. And I'm just going to rub it into my beard. And then we'll build a lather later. I think that'll probably do it. We'll see. I used, I don't know, a third, maybe a little more than a third of that little tub. I don't know how many shapes you're supposed to get out of one of those, depends on how much soap you use. Uh, so I got a brush here, it's my little travel brush. It's a, it's a vintage Surrey bore brush I've had for a while. It, it works great in a pinch, it's cheap, I don't have to worry about it getting broken. I mean, if it does, I have another Surrey and they cost like five bucks on eBay. Um, they were everywhere in drugstores back in the day for like a couple bucks. Uh, I usually just get like an old toilet paper roll when I'm traveling. I just stick it right in there. It keeps the brush from getting scratched up, keeps the knot from getting messed up. It might get a little squished and flat, but it's not gonna, you know, the hairs aren't gonna get pulled out. It's not gonna get damaged. Cheap branch trick. I know some people get like the big medicine bottles, but I don't have one of those. Definitely lathering right up. It's been a while since I've done a face lather. Definitely gonna have to add some water. I got like a little cup of water here, just like from the, the little coffee bar. And I just have some warm water in the bottom of it. I just dip the tips into the warm broth, into the water. in that water. This is certainly messy, but definitely work when you have a longer period too that helps like really get into that underneath those hairs and exfoliate the skin. I think that's looking pretty good. I didn't take long to build. There's still plenty of lather there in that brush, I think. That's the only thing uh, when you're face lathering, I recommend going a little longer. Like you might be good on the lather, but you gotta kind of keep agitating that brush to build that lather inside the brush. Otherwise you don't have enough left for uh, any secondary or third passes. Plus I got a haircut too recently. I don't know if you guys noticed. And the rings were a little wet there. Uh, right before vacation, I was able to sneak in and got a really nice cut. A 
no problem at all with that that heavy growth. No dugging, no pouring. I love the wing. This is my favorite razor. I've said it before. Nothing's changed. I don't have any issues with the brand thing. Um, maybe if you were trying to rinse in like a bowl of water instead of under running water, you might have an issue. But generally speaking, I rinse my razor under running water all the time just because I found it's more effective and works most of the time. Had a great trip here so far. Um, talked to a couple people about it. I was gonna try and scoot away to buy some wet shaving stuff. They have a few stores here. Um, I think they used to have an art of shaving with that closed. I was unlikely to have gone there anyways because generally speaking they're really expensive. But they have a couple like pocket theory type wet shaving places that sell wet shaving products. And um, there's another big company here. Shave Nation. You guys have watched Geo Fat Boy on YouTube. He's got some very excellent info on his YouTube channel. I've watched many of his videos. Uh, his store is here as well. Not quite very, or not very close at all to where I'm at. I thought about making a detour at some point, trying to get over there, but... Let's be honest, I ended up spending all my vacation money if I went there. Had a great dinner last night, went to the, uh, the old Chicago Firehouse Steakhouse. It's really good. It's a really nice environment too. I really enjoyed it. Had an old fashioned. It was actually really good. It was a Chicago old firehouse old fashioned. It was a little bit different. It wasn't just bourbon and bitters. It had like a little splash of like cacao liquor. And then some kind of cream too, just a little, just a little touch of it. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. I think I took a picture of it on my phone, but that's being used right now. Thing does it first pass though. Literally nothing to complain about. That worked really well. There's nothing wrong with these little shave sticks. Uh, obviously, I'm not using one just to be clear, but um, I've used like a palm olive shave stick in the past. And I think I did a video on it uh, as a travel shave. And I didn't, you know, it wasn't acceptable lather, but it was kind of a, a basic lather. It, the, my skin didn't feel as good as with, you know, a modern soap. It just doesn't have all the other, you know, skin food type stuff in there that. My skin was a little dry afterwards. And I don't think the shave was as good. And I know some people that really like palm olive will hate on me for that. I had the palm olive cream too. But I much enjoy this. This lather in the shave that I'm getting from using 
a soap sample that I just kind of scooped out and, and rubbed on my face. Then I did, last time I used a, a shaving stick, which is, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, with Palmolive shave stick or a Toya shave stick or whatever, but they're also like a kind of a bargain soap. Palmolive was never very expensive until they stopped making it and it was like a buck a stick or something unless you're shipping it somewhere. But pretty cheap. Any with Latoya. Better than like Williams, but don't come at me, Williams haters. You know it's true. Williams is great for a dollar. It's okay for a dollar. But it's something special. But I much prefer this this using these little sample containers and then just rubbing the soap on the face and making the lather. I got a Permastar blade in here. I don't think I said that at the beginning. I think I got a little distracted. Uh, I just dumped out the other two. A little Permastar. Um, I keep these in a little, the whole razor itself in a little travel case. Um, I don't know where, where I got this. I think I bought a razor from somebody and this is what they included it in when I bought it from them and they shipped it. Um, it does have a little button here and the buckle on the other side. So for this razor, it's perfect. It just goes over and buttons. If you had a titanium razor or something with a coating or maybe some kind of handle that you wouldn't like to have any micro scratches, might not want to use one like this because the inside of that button would scratch up your handle, would scratch up the finish. But this handle is machined. I'm not, I don't think it's, I wouldn't notice any little micro scratches from that. But that wouldn't be the case I would pick for something like a gold finish razor, like a travel razor, or like a Gillette or something, even like a Gillette Tech, like a, that gold finish razor, that would get scuffed up pretty bad on, on that button, I think. So it's not the perfect case, but it works well for the winning. I do have another, I'll show you in a second, I have another case that might work better though. Get this lathered up here. There's a little white on lather for this last pass, but I think it'll work. Maybe I should have made a little bit longer of a lather at the beginning. Nah, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work just fine. Just need to work it a little bit more. Just fine. Uh, the other case is, this one's by Razor Rock. Um, same kind of situation, I bought a razor from somebody and they shipped it with this case, which was cool of them. Um, this one works, it's got like this wider end here, so if you want to drop, let's say, <clears throat> Artist Club razor, it would fit perfectly well inside there. And then there's a little extra room, so I have, like have a type of DE blades in here, which is what I had in here last time I used this. Um, but I do have some blades for this in my top kit as well. But that's a cool little travel kit. I think they're less than 15 bucks. I don't know if it's real leather or fake leather, but I've had it for a while and I've traveled several times with it and it's not had any issues. Good case. Very smooth against the grain still. I think I have a brush for my 
a hair from my brush. It's an older bore. Like I said, they, they stopped making these years ago. But you can still buy like unused ones on eBay for pretty cheap. I've got another one in the box somewhere on the shelf, but. They are older. They're definitely gonna lose some hairs. Um, mine lost a few when I first started using it. But I definitely soaked it in a mug for a couple days, three or four days, cold water. And I talked about breaking in boards before. I think it was important because um, because it's an older board, those hairs were a little brittle. I think it was good to take the time to rehydrate them and everything before you started building lathers with them and stuff. So I did, but I did have a little bit of breakage, a couple broke short and then I lost a few, but after that, that was fine. I've been using this for several years. I decided I didn't want to take a brush today. I didn't want to get damaged like this really nice, whatever, $60, $80 knot. Pretty nice shave. I got like hair that grows weird. I have a swirl in my beard right here. Oh, I gotta like shave in like four directions to get it all. And I have kind of a half swirl on this side. Even after having that shave for a week, maybe longer than a week. Pretty sure it was longer than a week. I don't know. It's not that important. But that was an excellent shave. No problem taking down the heavy grow. Very comfortable. Herman Sharp was really good. That was a shave. I will do a warm water splash in soap off my face, cold water splash to kind of seal the pores, and then I'll be right back for post shave. All right, thanks for sticking with me. So I don't have an aftershave splash. I don't carry an alcoholic uh, aftershave in my dock kit when I'm traveling. It just seems like I'm asking for trouble. You know, alcohol, if the ball breaks, and I got glass everywhere, and you know, it's more likely to break being glass, and and if alcohol and blah, blah, all those issues. So I usually bring like a bomb of some sort. Um, Duke Cannon is my kind of like go-to travel one. This is the like normal size bottle, like five or six bucks. They do make a travel size bottle in the travel area of like whatever Target or Walmart or something. Um, That's the nice smaller TSA approved size. I keep meaning to get one of those. So I could just refill it with this and then I forgot. And so I just used the big one. I didn't have space in my bag. Uh, but this stuff is good stuff. This is the second or third bottle I've gone through this over the last few years. Um, I used it a lot when I first started wet shaving. This became my go-to like aftershave balm for months and months and months. Um, nice. It's got a little bit of a menthol kick, but it's not too bad. Just just enough to make it comfortable and nice, like a cooling sensation, but not like freezing cold. But it's a nice balm. I like it really works well. It's like a Skin feels great. It's not just one thing. It's got aloe in there, I think, but not like a lot. Um, so it's not sticky. What do we got? Water, glycerin, shea butter, uh, menthol, tea tree oil. I'm a big fan of tea tree oil. Uh, Bobab oil, tamanu oil, and then some other stuff I can't pronounce. But I think it's a great bomb. Works well in a pinch. Works great for travel shave. Straight here, here they didn't want to come off. There it goes. Anyways, that ah, well, the next one is shave BBS. It's nice shaving after so many days. 
I briefly considered growing out a beard for a minute there. It got so long, I was like, maybe I should just, just let it go. Nah. Maybe this winter. Maybe I'll grow a beard off this winter when it's cold. But that was great. I really like that shave. Post shave was great. I don't feel the need to add anything else. I usually use like a post shave oil if I'm using an alcohol based balm. I have that as well. Um, but I don't feel the need to use that with this. I think my skin's gonna be great. That was a great shave. I really like this convergence scent. It's really, really nice. Um, I'm probably gonna pick up a set of that. I think they only sell it through Maggards. Um, it's a, a decoration ring, but I think it's like a collab or a Maggard special release or something. I'm not sure if it's still available. I'm gonna have to go look. But that was a shave. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys have some great travel shaves in your future. And I'll see you next time.